Hello everyone, this is CG Turf. My name is Tatenda Dluwayo, and uh, this is another end cloth tutorial how to create a pillow very quickly and very simply. <laughs> I don't know if that's proper grammar or not, but anyway, so this is what we're going to be creating a very simple very simple so like always I'm just gonna start from a new new scene um, so just create a cube and we're just gonna shape it into like a rectangular prism like a very thin rectangular prism um, put it a little bit I'm gonna make it very thin like that. I'm just gonna put it on top of the grid. And then I'm gonna create a plane. Just like that. And then the subdu I mean I think I've said it before that you just need to experiment in Maya. So um, you don't have to copy exactly how I'm doing it but I think you'll get the idea so in the attribute editor yeah the input of the cube you see this uh, subdivisions right so for example the width uh, maybe we want to put something like I don't know maybe 15 and then on the depth you can put let's see I think I'm happy with like 20 and you can change this afterwards as, like afterwards as well if it doesn't look good so it doesn't really matter uh, and then the height maybe just 5 and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put extra edge loop to reinforce those edges um, put on this side <coughs> like that and as far as modeling goes that's it you're done <laughs> so now we're just gonna select our pillow um, then we're just gonna hit end cloth. Maybe let's just create a okay. Let's create end cloth first. Wait, okay, I did it on the wrong thing. So we select our pillow, we create end cloth, and then we select the pillow and the plane and we create a passive collider. So now, just like before, let me just make <laughs> ten thousand frames that's like overkill but anyway um, just like before if I play this it's just gonna fall <laughs> and it's getting stuck on the plane but that's what you want and then here on the outline I'm just gonna select and cloth we get into the attributes it's selected on end cloth shape one and we must select the nucleus where it says gravity here uh, we actually can going to like hmm, maybe let's leave it there I guess it doesn't really matter let's just put 10 and then on the pressure where's the pr yeah here's the pressure this is the pressure so maybe we want to start at like maybe point one I think I think point one is fine you hit play and it's gonna inflate Ooh, it's taking so long maybe that was too little maybe let me just put like one see what happens yeah I think that's much better <laughs> okay yep I mean just like before if you like stop the video you can actually you can actually keep the model but for now like I wanna let it settle so I'm just gonna keep on playing it 
and then maybe now I'm gonna hit stop and and just like before you can duplicate this and you can save it you can duplicate it so that it doesn't have all this because like right now if you go back it's just gonna reset so maybe you can just like I wonder what happens if I put like three okay I guess the, the pressure will be a lot more yeah if you like if you pause it like this you can actually save the model like that so okay so now it's actually doing a lot more <laughs> but it's fine um pretty much that's how you that's how you do it so you can actually pause it here and you can save this like for example if i duplicate it so like that duplication that uh, duplicated model that like it, it doesn't have the the effects i can just use it as it is without any effects but the main one will still will still have the the, the effect on it so yeah um, I, i'm sure you'll be able to do a lot with this uh skill i guess and uh, if you have any questions or any contributions or anything really you can just let me know in the comments but this is it i always try to make them fa uh, fast and quick and simple uh, these tutorials okay thank you thank you for for watching until next time